All right, I was playing one game, basically just to test out some stuff. And um, yeah, it's uh, kind of impressive what they um, worked out here. So it's definitely like voting one weapon type is uh, really, really good in this system as you uh, save points and uh, you can use those uh, points for other stuff. So having just like one weapon type or one main weapon type is uh, really good, I guess. These mixed builds are just not good enough. Well, you can probably make them work, but you lose a lot of benefits, like especially um, the velocity here and range increase is really nice. The cooldown as well, but um, yeah, I mean, the target comp is on top of that. So, if you unlock these on an assault, uh, on a Kodiak, for example, with double gauze, it's uh, quite nice, I guess. And what is interesting as well is, for example, the UAC uh, gem chance reduction. You get 3% uh, gem chance reduction on this one. And you have up to five of them. Oh, wait, what did I... Gem chance. Is there a five? Or is it just four? Oh, there's the five. They're split everywhere, so you kind of have to unlock everything if you really want that. But um, five times three percent? Not sure, but here in Germany it's uh, 15 percent reduced gem chance. But not like OP, but like on a Kodiak? Ooh! With four cannons? Ooh! Really nasty. Really bad though if you uh, think of Inesphere Max, for example, a Black Widow, where you could have like two AC5s and two UX, or two UX and some one normal auto cannon. It's just uh, meh that you have two trees here. So. Um, those max or builds gonna be like mm, meh I guess it's probably better to stick to one weapon type so you can really um, you can like spend all the points then on, on the tree and unlock other goodies same with um, lasers as well like pulse lasers have their own uh, tree uh, I don't really like that like this seems to be wrong Especially if you, like, if PGI wants us to use mixed builds, like, where's the reason to not use four large poles, uh, but to use, like, three large poles and a couple of uh, medium lasers. The medium laser is going to be unskilled, and um, it's probably better to go for large poles only then. And yeah, you can you can get like structure and armor quirks uh, to all the clan max now, and you. This is just seems a little bit OP, so uh, I expect them to actually change quite a lot here. Like I couldn't, I think I didn't test too much these ones, especially not the hill climbs. Um, they are just plain useless, but whatever. I didn't check Greater Derp. Um, I'm not really sure if that is uh, super interesting. I guess the two seismics are like what? The one, two, three, four, five, six points is this one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points is the other one. Um, so basically, six. And another six, so you have both. Means 12 points uh, for seismic. Um, yeah, I guess that's doable. And seismic is so good, so um, you can even spend a couple more points and get some of the radar derps in then. Like maybe three radar derps. Um, I could think of that. I guess that uh, sensor range is not really needed right now. Target decay is totally useless unless you play LRMs, which is then countered by Raider Derp again. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I guess for LRM players that's good. And the ECM one, yeah, I don't know. Um, that definitely needs testing, but I guess you want them on an ECM mic. Like. And these UAV thingies here, I don't know. I doubt they're gonna be super interesting. It's just too many points. If it would be like, let's say, four points or five points, uh, then yes, but. Uh, 8% is a big number though, like, it could be that the UV uh, range is quite, uh, quite epic with it, but, um, I don't know. It's probably, um, in the future, it will be hard to calculate if you are under the UV or if the UV is far enough away. Um, like, that's maybe something you have to have in mind in the future. Like, if you see a UAV in front of you, you might actually be under it. If that guy has, uh, like, spent his skill points there. Del Rams is just an... Oh, you can... Oh, you can reduce the spread. That is nice, actually. That is kinda nice. And you can have velocity as well. Hmm. <sighs> That's neat. For alarm plays, I guess this patch is kind of nice because you have, as it looks like, you get speed and you get a couple infotech stuff, like UAV stuff, and the people are gonna play a lot less Raider Derp, a lot less. So, and ECM becomes a little bit weaker as well, I guess. So, um, it seems like uh, LRM players are gonna benefit from this. And streaks, what is this? Heat. Heat is, n oh, heat is nice as well. Velocity? <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. They are already quite fast. The laser duration is uh, uh, like can produce some crazy mechs as well. Like in general this um, seems to favor the better chassis. Like the better a mech is and without any quirks, uh, the better it will be after this patch I guess. Like I can I cannot really see reasons for like quick draws or whatever, which are kind of bad without quirks. LBX spread reduction, yeah. Oh, quite significant, 4% each. Yeah, so I guess LRM's auto cannon, like all the weapons gonna be a little bit stronger, I guess, besides probably lasers. Um, the duration is what? I guess 10% duration in total. And yeah, it's, uh, let's see. I think uh, laser's gonna be less good. It's probably more down to PPCs and uh, and gauze. Significant boost for gauze, in my opinion. And UX could be useful as well with the reduced junctions. And in the sphere side, hmm. Um, with um, removal of most quirks, or not most, but a lot of quirks. Um, it's gonna be interesting. I guess it's hard for them to compete as a lot of clan max get some, some quirks as well now. Well, all the clan max gets qu getting quirks. So, uh, basically, like, can I see this somewhere here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at all those quirks. Like, basically, I have a uh, Night gear with like a lot of quirks now. Like it had some quirks, but now it's just crazy. Armor 15% more armor, and structure is uh, I don't know, somewhere else. 
startup duration is not important, I would say. And velocity quirks as well. Like, mm, <laughs> this is nasty. I'm expecting a lot of uh, salt in the uh, puck here. Like, you can come up with pretty um, nasty stuff here. But let's see, I got no Raider Derp in this, so maybe this gets countered by all those LRM guys. Well, let's wait and see. But I don't have... I don't have structure quirks or did I just missed it? Eh, whatever. I'm gonna do one quick thingy here on the testing grounds. So the most obvious is the charge up thingy. Uh, Or you even have that weird sound. Target acquired. And like the range stuff as well. Maybe even the speed. That gets quite fast. Uh, the jump jets seem to be more or less the same as before. I don't really see a difference here. Yeah. Might be a tiny difference. Like, where can I get in this third person view mode? Oh, there. Strike online. I don't know, might be a bit glitchy. And, yeah, arm movement? I don't know. Movement to the sides, it feels like it's more or less the same as before. It actually feels a little bit uh, more mobile, agile. So I would say. Fuel at 25%. Oh, full damage gets this place uh, as a back shot. Is that new? Fuel at 0%. Ah, I think that's new. I'm not sure about it though. And it should be yeah, significantly less because I unlocked a couple of those uh, full damage things. So yeah, I'm still at 99%. At Let's see if I make a big jump here. Well, this guy New is far away. Acquired. 600 meters. I'm pretty instant hit there. Big jump. Oh yeah, that's not even really hurting, like, <laughs> hard to notice, I guess, in the game. So you can jump, <laughs> you can jump even higher, because you have, don't have to worry about your legs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It feels like a little bit of a problem. I'm not really sure if that is the right way to go with this game. Whatever. I hope you saw something you enjoyed. I, I'm i not sure if I'm gonna do another video about this or if I wait for the release. Uh, let's see. I don't know. This seems a little bit weird and let's wait.